Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is about something that every RC enthusiast or drone owner should have. a 3d printer I've been waiting on for over two months I actually purchased a Cymax M1 and they ended up messing my order up sending me a totally different printer what I received was a MI M200 I ended up having a bunch of problems with it I contacted the company and they told me to keep the printer and they reshipped me the actual printer that I ordered in the first place. Okay, so we have a box in a box. This is a lot smaller than the box I received before. Okay, so that's all that's in that one. We'll get rid of that. Now it gives us a lot more room for you guys to see. So yeah, okay, as you can see, Cymax technology. Or is it pronounced C-Max? I'm not sure. I think it's Cymax. It makes sense. Cut my hair this morning, guys. I uh, gave myself a brush cut, skinned it all off. No, I'm not going to show you guys because it, I look pretty funny with a bald head. Packaging is always great. We have a nice layer of foam here. Okay. So what do we have here? I can see right away there's the hot end and uh, it's a lot better looking than the one on the... Oh well, you don't get much uh, filament to test with. There's a little bit of filament you guess. Maybe two meters or something. Okay, in this one we have some screws, we have an extra uh, nozzle, and some tools, we have a card reader and an SD card, they give you your SD, oh wow, this is a lot better, you get uh, a pair of filament cutters, that's a bonus. This is what everything looks like. And it has a single Z-axis, but you can actually mount a second Z-axis on this printer. That's what I read up about it, and that's why I wanted this printer in the first place. But they ended up shipping me the wrong printer. But yeah, cool, eh? See, there's your hot end. This is what the filament will come out of. Decent. Two fans on it. Well, just uh, there's three fans on it. Ooh, that's not going to. Uh, that's going to work great. Let's see, a little guide there to blow. That's 3D printed, guys. I can, I can tell that's 3D printed. It's glued on there. So if that ever breaks, I can reprint my own. But yeah, I'd like to get this all out of the box and see if there is a bigger roll of filament in the box with us. As there really should be. I got a big roll of filament with the last one. Uh, 250 grams, I think it was. And I don't think there's any filament in this box. This would be it. There is another layer underneath here, though. Possibly could be. So this is your build place. This is what everything will print on. This is magnetic. So you would just, when your your 3D print file is done printing on this plate, it will build it up. 
you just peel this off and it will take your print off of the plate there. This is the Z-axis motor. There's another one here. Pretty cool guys. It's uh, awesome technology. And it's actually something that every drone owner should have. Because anything that you want for your drone, like... I'll give you an example. Like this. This is for my Mavic Mini. It's a camera protector. I actually printed that. And this, guys, clips to my Femi. And you put pool noodles through these big circle holes. And it will enable the Femi to land in water. I've also printed this. This is the Iron Man helmet. It's not finished. But it's getting close. I'm gonna head in hook this up and not sure if I'm gonna show you guys it printing or not. I may end up showing you as it's printing a little bit and the end result but I mean this takes a long time for an item to print. Some things will take up to 24 hours or more. I may choose something small guys like uh, I don't even know if I want to print any more of these. They, I'm being told they don't work, they blow apart propellers for the RC planes. But yeah, that was printed. So yeah, I'll hook her up and see how she works. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I have it all hooked up. I just set up a little pilot for my uh, RC planes. I'm gonna try and print a pilot. You guys can see what he looks like there. I'll bring him in close. Pretty detailed. Check that out. And uh, I'm just going to try and print them here. And there you have it, guys. It's nail printing. It wasn't too hard to set up. I just had to readjust the uh, extruder there where the filament feeds in. This little piece here that you see spinning around was pushed down too far. And it wasn't grabbing the filament and pushing it through the feeder. But you can see there now it's printing. And it seems to be printing very well. Okay guys, there's a finished product. Well, close to being finished. I have to sand it and paint it now. But I shouldn't have put supports on it because there's all the pieces I've had to pick off to get down to this. But... That's how it will print. It uh, prints really nice. You can't see a lot of the lines unless you're really up close. And yeah, printer works pretty good. I'm pleased with it. Like I said, I just have to go over that now. Sand down all the roughness where I pulled off all the supports. But next time I print something like that, I'll just print it without support. So guys, I'm going to show you my first one here my first printer and this is the one that gave me quite a few problems but uh, I've got it on the sideline now and I'm going to order some parts and upgrade it and actually make it a better printer but there you go that's the printer they sent me in the first place it was the wrong printer this is a CMAX MIM200 and uh, something else I wanted to show you is here's the finished product. Well, pretty much finished. I've cleaned them all up. That's the pilot I printed. Cleaned it all up and I colored a little bit of it with black marker. Just the hair and put a face on them. And the uh, straps, the buckles. But pretty cool, eh guys? That's things like that you can make with a 3D printer. If it's made of plastic, you can make it. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure your notifications are on, guys. And until the next time, catch you later. Peace.